Oh, hi. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, hello, my name is Katie. And today I'm going to be reacting to episode three of season two of Jujutsu Kaisen. And I have been so excited for this episode as we all have, but I'm also really nervous because I don't know, just after the way the last episode went, I feel like we're going to see the Toji fight with Gojo. And I'm going to say, I did not think that this would come so early in this season. But also the reason that I think this is because I think it was Crunchyroll or the official Jujutsu Kaisen Twitter, I think like posted uh, screenshots of Toji and it looked like he was like getting ready to fight or fighting. So the last episode we did see Toji talking about how like He's getting involved in the assassination of the vessel for Tengen, and there's basically a lot of money at stake. And I pointed out how there was parallels between him thinking about this and talking about it and the betting that he was doing. And from like what I could see and what we were talking about in the comments, for those of you that commented on my last video, is like there's definitely like there was definitely supposed to be a parallel interpreted there, but it looked like he kept losing his bet. So I don't want to say that I know how this goes because I don't, but I mean, I think I said in one of the other videos, like, I don't know if even adult Toji is a match for Gojo and I would prefer it if like he didn't fight him. I think that's what we're going to get in this episode. I think that's what we're going to get. At the end of the last episode, they were trying to get the vessel back to Jujutsu High because all of these people are after her, all these different groups. There's a lot of money involved. There's like religious groups involved. So they like essentially need to get her back to safety ASAP. But we did see at the end of the last episode that her like maid, the, the person that was like looking after her was tied up and the photo was sent to the vessel. And the last that we saw of her, she was with Ghetto. So I'm like, I wonder if Toji has gotten involved here. And is that what how Gojo and him start fighting? Is he trying to like lure Gojo there? Because we know that Toji knows who Gojo is and he does want to fight him. And yeah, like there must be, there must be something going on there. I don't think it's going to be like a smooth sailing back to Jujutsu High where she will be safe. I think there's going to be some shit along the way. So... I guess we will see, but without wasting any more time, if you do want to see more content from me, don't forget to subscribe. I do react to Jujutsu Kaisen every week, and I also react to One Piece if you're interested in that. You can also join my Patreon where I do upload uncut time reactions of Jujutsu Kaisen as well as One Piece. So if you want to watch my full uncut reaction to the whole episode, all you need is to sync your own copy of the episode with mine, and then we can watch it together. But without further ado, let's just get into episode three of season two of Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, not me thinking of the I am under the water meme. <laughs> okay, we're picking right up. We're gonna see what happened. Oh, did he leave her? Oh. Mm, I wonder if this is Toji, like, I don't know, maybe they're luring them into a trap. She wants to go with them? She's like the only person she can say bye to, really. Apart from friends. Yeah, that's like her only family. She doesn't have a family. This this woman is basically her family. Oh my god, his freaking eyes. We'll just ignore you. Oh! Hello? Beach time? 
Do we get a silly episode? Nah, you know what scares me about Jujutsu Kaisen though? Like this can be so dark and I just feel like with them opening with these like cute moments in these first couple of episodes, like we know that the second half of the season is gonna have the Shibuya incident and all, even though I don't know like what happens, the implication is that it's gonna be really bad. So they are like literally lifting us the fuck up with all this cute, almost slice of life content what are they gonna do to us? I'm scared. I don't trust. I don't. <laughs> I don't trust Jujutsu Kaisen. I just don't. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it'll just be so cute the whole way through, and like nothing bad will happen, and everyone will just be really happy. I like that theory. Oh, they got her back. Oh, the, the, oh, okay, it's show, yeah, all right, all right. I thought this was gonna be like a whole thing, but maybe, okay, this, this is not, that was not Toji then. Look at Ghetto in his beach wear. Oh, nice. Pretty good bodyguards to have, I think. So, is this where... <gasps> oh my god, it's Nanami! <laughs> oh, this episode's about to be so silly, isn't it? Of course he did. So is this the day that she's actually gonna do the thing? Is he concerned? Wait, so I think I got like a little bit lost. I was so distracted by, by how cute this is. I think, are they just here to keep her safe until the, the bounty runs out? Is that what this is? I think it might be. And also showing her like a really good time. I still don't trust Jujutsu Kaisen though. Like if the latter half of this episode goes to shit, we know the truth. Are they having an aquarium date? Mm, oh my god. The music? Holy shit. This is where the start of the episode came from then, I'm assuming. Oh, the animation and the music, everything in this season is just ramped up. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> oh my fucking god. Oh. Oh, it's happening. It's fucking happening. No, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. No, no, no. Flashback scene? Baby Gojo? He's known of him. He has known of him. Oh my, look at him. Oh. Did you do it enough though? Right, cause he like, he like chilled as soon as they got into the barrier. Like passing a safety pin through a knit sweater. Oh, Toji, my guy. Oh my God, he looks so genuinely scared. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. He, mm, please don't die. You're too sexy. 
I just want to be Toji's little worm guy. So it was to bide the time for the bounty. I mean, he did think very strategically about it, but is it enough? Probably not. Oh. Oh. Jesus Christ, he's so fat. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> the music. Oh, right. That makes it very interesting. Uh, okay, okay. I wonder what Heavenly Pact means. Did they mention anything like that in the first season? I can't remember. Okay. Oh, he got rid of the cover, of course. Oh! <gasps> What the fuck is that? Ugh. Ew. Oh my god. How did he get these? Oh, this is- This is a- Oh my god, he's right there. How the fuck- How is he doing- Did he just- <gasps> Ooh, how did he do that? Oh my fucking god. Wait, this is nuts. This is nuts. Obviously we know that Gojo survives this, but... How? Oh shit. So because of that tool. Oh my that that is nuts. How the f Because of that tool he was able to do that to Gojo? How does he survive how how does he survive this? Like obviously we know he does, right? Obviously he does. But I'm so fucking intrigued as to how the actual fuck he got through this. And how is Ghetto gonna react to this? This is gonna be nuts. Aww. Aww. Oh, bless them. Oh. Oh, wow. Why is he even saying that? Because they would be erasing her? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, Oh my god. I love them so much. We're the strongest. They are. Oh, bless her. Oh, maybe she won't. Is he gonna let her go? Oh. Oh, he's so sweet. What the fuck? The music. Oh. <gasps> 
my god, I'm genuinely in shock. What the actual fuck? Who did that? <gasps> oh, fucking hell. His face. Because he realizes if... Mm. Oh, Gero is about to lose his actual shit. Oh, look at his face. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm like sweating. Much to unpack. Where do we even fucking begin? Mm, okay. I just don't know what to say. I don't, I just don't know what to say. Listen, I knew this season was gonna go off. I knew it was gonna be nuts, but like, I don't think I fully really grasped how just fucking nuts it is. And this is only the third episode. We're not even in the Shibuya incident. I have seen without spoilers, like I have seen on Twitter, manga readers being like, anime only really do not know what they're in for. And like, Y'all are not even fucking joking. So, okay, the first thing that I need to unpack is Gojo getting fucked up by Toji is just absolutely nuts. Like, how he survives that, okay? We can think about, like, Shoko and her abilities to help him recover and heal you know the resources that they have for him to recover and heal but i feel like if that was any person like any other sorcerer that isn't gojo they would be absolutely fucked i am so intrigued to see how on earth he survived those injuries and how he's gonna feel post those that fight i mean he's still only a teenager but i feel like this is probably the first time in gojo's life so far that he has faced such an opponent opponent that has fucked him up like that you know what i feel like is so interesting when we eventually get to you know Megumi and him coming into it and everything like it just it, it just must be such a weird like mindset going into helping Megumi and you know having this past with with Toji and but also that could be the reason why he loves and cares for Megumi so much is because of what we just saw and how evil Toji actually is and then oh my god I just did not I really okay there's so much to unpack about this last scene that I don't even know where to begin. I will begin with saying I did think that Rico was just gonna, she was gonna get away. And I did not see that coming of Toji just killing her like that. Ghetto saying, why are you here? Was not just like, why are you here? It held like way more depth than him saying, why are you here? Because he knows if Toji's there, what the fuck has happened to Gojo? And that hits me like very hard in the feels. His entire demeanor changing from so sweet to Rico to that absolute rage of telling Toji that he's gonna die was just that instant like light switch flick. Like that's crazy. The next episode's gonna go fucking off. The other things that I really need to just talk about a little bit. I think like watching this now in like the first season of Jujutsu Kaisen and in Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, I'm starting to understand more why Gojo is always talking about in those previous things that we've seen, you know, not taking youth away from the young or something along those lines. And I think that his really, really, really strong feelings about that, obviously now it makes so much sense that it comes from this particular period in his life, maybe not so much personal experience of himself, but maybe everything that he's experienced with Rico, or maybe it's a combination of the two, but that is starting to make a lot more sense to me now. And then the other thing that I wanted to talk about was Ghetto. I am so intrigued about his story from this point on because he is so sweet in this arc. What happened? Like, what has actually fucked him up? Obviously, don't tell me, but this is just me, like, thinking out loud. Like, 
what has fucked him up so much that he goes from what we are seeing now to JJK Zero? That just tells me this is about to get so dark. Like, I'm genuinely scared. He was fully, you know, willing to let Rico go and like, fuck everything. Him and Gojo are the strongest. They can help her. How does he go from being like that to what he's like in JJK Zero? What fucks him up so much? I'm genuinely scared to find that out. And um, yeah, I just feel like from here, this is going to get very what the fuck. I don't trust all their cute slice of life type shit that they've been throwing at us so far. I don't trust it. I'm, I'm just terrified of what's to come. Do I love it? Yes. Am I terrified? Yes. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content from me, don't forget to subscribe. You can also join my Patreon for early access and uncut content if you want to. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.